Once you've signed up for web hosting and installed Cyberduck, the next order of business is to configure Cyberduck to connect to the web uh, 000 web hosting servers. So, first thing we'll need to do is actually sign into 00 web hosts page to see what the information is going to be. Uh, the FTP information is not going to be the same as the login information you put in. So that's why we need to do this. Uh, let me get in first. Oops. Let me try that again. Okay. Alright, once you log in, you'll see something similar to what you're seeing here on my page. Obviously, your domain's going to be slightly different. Uh, my domain name is dragos19.site90.com. And what I want to do is click right here on the Go to cPanel tab. Alright, so if you scroll down the way a little bit, you should see under the Files option, you see View FTP Details. And right here, if you click on that, is what you should see something similar to this. Uh, FTP hostname, username, the password, and the folder to upload the files to. So as you see, the email address or username that you use to log in is not the same as what they have set up over here for the FTP username. Um, and probably the first order business, if you've never set a password or anything like that, the first thing you're going to want to do is click this change account password just to make sure that you don't want to drive yourself crazy thinking you have some password set. So just change it to something that you know you'll be using right here. And now that it's changed, let me go back down. Now I know exactly what my username and password is going to be. So there's no conflict there when I'm, you know, you want to kind of eliminate any um, potential issues ahead of time when you're logging in. So that way there's, you know, you could really narrow down what your problem is, it, assuming you're going to have a problem. So, okay, let's actually take this information and apply it to our CyberDuck and see if we could get online. Now, here we go. If uh, you know, you may see in some of my videos these little dialog boxes. This is a program I use called Little Snitch, which basically is a program that anytime um, my uh, Ethernet connection, anytime my internet connection is trying to um, send information over the internet, send or receive information, it's going to pop me with a dialog box like that. Taking a little tangent here, it's just a little program that I use. I want to explain it so when you see it, you will not be seeing the same thing on your end. Um, if I go, you guys should be seeing something like this. I think um, when you first install CyberDuck, it already has a couple of bookmarks already pre-installed there for you, more like example configuration. Um, and I have something, and I have, let's see, my 00 web hosting already set up. If you're going to be setting it up for the first time, what you want to do is press this little plus button down here and click it, and you're going to see a box like that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to click on the one that I already created and click the edit um, button down there and show you how um, I configured it. So just going down the row over here, the nickname that you would use, this is whatever you want. This is just more for your own naming convention. You see that I use the 000 web host, and that's what shows up right over here. Um, this URL, this thing gets automatically filled in for you, so there's nothing to do there. Um, the server, now the server is the FTP host name you find at web host over here. So you take this information, just take it and copy it right into that server address. As far as the port goes, this should already be at 21 for you. Um, if it's not, then just double check. You have a couple of other options over here on how to connect, and what you want to be using is the FTP protocol. You see that if I change it to, for example, SFTP, it automatically changes the port number to 22. So just leave that on FTP and port 21. Um, 
username. Now that would be the FTP username right here. Now by the way, you more than likely also have a uh, sort of complicated um, looking FTP username. You shouldn't be typing this in manually because that's how you get errors. Same thing with the FTP host address. Take your cursor, select all of it, and copy and paste that information in there. That way, you know, you got to get in the habit of copying and pasting when you're uh, doing web design anyway because um, you're always going to be copying and pasting code around and all that stuff because when you actually sit there and you know start retyping things you're just increasing your likelihood for syntax errors um, and the final piece of the puzzle that you want to put in is where it says folder to upload files and it says public underscore HTML um, you could put that in the path and if you look um, I think this is required this forward slash you could experiment with that on your own you know take it out and uh, or leave it in and see but you should put down the path and actually I'll explain to you why right now let me take the path out and I'll close this I, I mean the path is not a you don't have to do in order to connect really the only thing you have to do to connect is get the right uh, FTP host name username and password but it's gonna have less errors so if I connect to web host without having set that folder uh, here we go. Make sure I got the right password. There we go. See, if you don't put in that folder to upload files, you see something similar to this. You have a folder that says public underscore dot HTML, then you have this other stuff that says do not upload here. They, so in short, what happens if you upload something here is it's just not going to be visible to people online. This is actually a public, uh, uh, sorry, a private folder. Uh, it's only when you double click on the public that HTML, it's the files inside of here that are what are going to be published to the internet. So really what that changes is if I go back to my bookmarks, now without that uh, path over there, I double click on it. I see this folder and then I double click on it again. But if I put that path in, let me click the edit button and I go, oops, I was about to type it in, but like you guys said, don't ever type it in, get in the habit. I'm going to listen, right? Uh, forward slash. Now let's see what happens. If I double click on it, it takes me right where I need to be. So those are the really the things you're going to need in order to get your FTP client, which is more than likely Cyberduck, to connect to the www.webhost.com servers.